Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing different color changing and interactive sets from American Girl. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can determine whether or not they'd like to purchase these products and I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these items so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the different items. You might need to wait right up until the end of the video so you're able to see the different reviews. Let's go ahead and take a look at Gabriella's Colorful Cupcake Set. This set was a part of Gabriella McBride's collection and Gabriella is an older girl of the year doll. So here we have the first couple items of part of the set. There's a placemat and that's made out of a paper material and there's a heart design in the middle. And the set also comes with two plates as well. I love the design of them. I'm going to go ahead and add the other plate over by the other side. Here we have two napkins. They're bright pink color to match a lot of the items of part of the set. We'll place the first one over here and then the second one can go over by the other side. And the set also comes with an invitation as well. It says, let's celebrate, decorate your own cupcakes. And then over by the back, there are some more details as well. So we'll just add that over by the back here. And in order to display the different cupcakes, the set does also come with a cupcake stand. It's a really bright purple color and it's made out of a plastic material. I love the floral design in the middle and it also comes with a stand topper as well that you can choose to add so you can have one main cupcake at the front and the rest around it too. And just before we take a look at the cupcakes, the set does also come with two drinks as well and they're ice cream sodas. I love the detail of the straw and they're a really bright orange color. So there's a total of two and they're styled exactly the same. So we'll just place that over by the other side. The set comes with a total of five different cupcakes. What I really like about the cupcakes itself is not only do they color change, but they come in different pieces as well. So there's a total of five cupcake holders, five cupcakes, and five icing pieces. What you're meant to do is you're meant to attach the pieces like this. You can add it over the top, and then you can click it in place as well, and it should be able to stay. And then if you'd like to change the icing, you can remove this one and then change them around. So I think it's a really great set because you can constantly change the cupcakes around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this over by the middle here, and I'm going to add the other two cupcakes as there's a total of five. So all the different cupcake holders are different colors. There's yellow, blue, red, and this one over here is pink. So we'll add that over here. I love this little cupcake stand. It holds all of the cupcakes perfectly. So let's go ahead and take a look at the color changing feature for the cupcakes. So we have one container here that has ice cold water and there's an ice cube in there. And then this one has hot water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this cupcake into the hot water. And as you can see, the orange is not as bright anymore and it's really faded and the set is mainly yellow. But when we add it into the ice water, the orange automatically comes back. That's so cool how it actually color changes. So we're going to add it back to this. And it definitely is really faded. So that's a really interesting set. I love how interactive it is. It's so different from all the other food sets and it just adds the extra interaction to the set itself. So in case if you're wondering, this is what the blue and pink cupcake looks like. Let's add it to this water over here. And it becomes quite faded. And then we add it to the ice cold water it's a really bright blue. So that blue is more of the faded over by the back. And this one's the really bright blue. You can definitely see the difference between the two. And it's really great how the color changing happens for both the styles of the cupcakes. Overall, I would definitely recommend Gabriella's Colorful Cupcake Set. It's really great how the cupcakes do color change. I love the detail of the ice cream soda and the stand displays the cupcakes perfectly too. This set is called the Art Class Set and it is so interactive because the vase and the canvas both change color when you add water, which is so interesting and different from some of the other sets. It retails for $50, so let's go ahead and open it up. Let's take a look at some of the smaller accessories. So first off, there's a total of five paint tubes. There's red, black, white, yellow, and blue as well. And I love how they're all different sizes. You can see the yellow one is really small compared to the black one over here. So it makes it a little bit more realistic. And then there's a paint palette as well with different colors. Some of them are really bright, like the purple and pink, while some of them are a little bit more pastel, like the green one over here. There are two sculptor's tools and a foam sponge as well. The foam sponge is, of course, just like a classic sponge, and the sculptor's tools are made out of a lightweight plastic material. 
An art set wouldn't be complete without some paint brushes. There's a total of two in the set. There is a flat one and a round one. This one here is the round one. And then this one over here is the flat paintbrush. And you can see that they're styled slightly different, which is really great to see. And then there's also a cup as well. It's made out of a plastic material. And what I love about it is that there's a small attachment to the side, so you're able to attach it to the easel. And it also holds the paint brushes too. The next item included in the set is the bucket. It's a blue color and there's a speckled design on the front and there's a handle on top too. This item is actually the potter's wheel and it spins and there's a small attachment at the top so you're able to attach the vase. There are a total of two color changing items. There's the vase and the canvas. So this item here is the vase. It looks very realistic. It's made out of a lightweight plastic material so it can change color of course. It's green and pink and there's a polka dot design, there's stripes as well. There's a small indent at the bottom so it can be attached to the pottery wheel. There are two canvases included in the set. One is color changing and one is not. So this one over here has a lot of cacti and I love the bright pink color in the background. This one is not color changing, it just stays that way. This one over here is color changing and it's a gorgeous flower design but you won't be able to see it until you add the water. In case if you're wondering, you can also tell the difference between which one is color changing and which one is not, is the back of the set. So this one just looks normal, while this one has a lot of dots and openings, so it's able to absorb the water. So let's see if the canvas color changes. I've added some water into the small cup. I'm just going to start painting it, and you can see it changes color. That's so awesome. So you can see there's a flower design, and I love how it looks like it's actually being painted as well. You can see the brush strokes. That's so interactive. And then there's blue and pink. I'll keep painting until we paint the whole thing so we're able to see the lovely painting. The canvas has been painted, it is so lovely. I love the vase with the flowers and the background's really gorgeous as well. I use cold water, it doesn't really matter what kind of water you use for the canvas, but the vase is slightly different. I have attached the color changing vase to the potter's wheel and it does spin and it stays in place, which is great to see. And the stand does generally stay as well. There's grips on the bottom too. So I have the sponge right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some hot water to it so it removes the color. And then when I add cold water, it changes it back. So I've just dipped the sponge in the warm water and I'm going to see if it changes color. And it automatically changes color, so it's fading away the pink and the green as well. You can use both warm water and hot water, but if your child is using hot water for the vase, make sure you are supervising. And I'll just continue doing that throughout the whole vase so it's completely clear. The vase has officially color changed, so I added the hot water to it, and it completely looks like it's back in its original form. You haven't even started painting it or anything. It's so realistic and so interactive. What we're going to do now is I have my paintbrush here. I'm going to add some cold water, and I'm going to make it look like I'm painting, and the color should reveal itself. So I have the cup here with water. I'm going to place it down, and I'll just start painting the front of it, and the color is coming back. And I love how all the different designs and the polka dots are reappearing when I'm starting to paint the vase. And what I need to do is I need to repaint the whole thing again and it should come back with the green and the pink. The design has come back and so has the pink and green as well. I love how you can repeat the process over and over again. You can remove the paint and then you can add it back again. The last item part of the set is the easel. It's meant to hold the canvas and the paints as well, so let's take it out of the packaging. The easel is now out of the packaging and it's holding a lot of the accessories in place. It has been a while since I added the water onto the canvas and you can see it's starting to fade, so it takes a while to fade, but it eventually does go and you can repeat the process again. Overall, I really do love how interactive the set is, the vase and the canvas change color, which is so great, and it does come with some really lovely pieces. So let's move on to the next set. This set is called Joss's Beach Grill, and it is a part of Joss Kendra's collection, who's the Girl of the Year for 2020. What makes this set interactive is when you add the food to the grill, grill marks appear to make it look like the food has been cooking. So let's go ahead and remove the items from the box and unwrap the packaging so we can take a look at the different items. The first item we'll be taking a look at is the grill. It's the main feature of the set, and what I love about this item is that it's so interactive. So first off, 
case if you're wondering it is made out of plastic material it's a gorgeous red color we have the american girl star in the middle but the reason why the set is interactive is because it looks like it cooks the food it has a light that switches on and it makes it look like the grill is real which is so awesome it's so much like the kitchen set that they just recently released as well in case if you're wondering you can remove the grill on the top and then we also have these so these turn and there's also a button on the side too there are two different ways you can style the grill. There's a stand attached to the bottom of it so you can have it laying down like so, which is really great for storage, or else you can open up the legs and they open up on either side. So you have one side and then the other side, and then you can stand it up. What I like about the grill is that there are also attachments you can add to the side of it, so you can add the drinks and the plates to it by not placing it directly on the grill itself. So I've already added it onto one side, and I just need to add it over onto the other side so it comes separate, and there's a clip so it easily stays like so. The set comes with two drinks and two plates. I've already added a plate and a drink on one side, and I'll add it over onto the other side as well. So the plates are exactly the same. You can see it's very brightly colored and it suits Joss's collection as well. And it has a striped design on it. And then the other item is a drink and it looks like some sort of lemonade or a soft drink and there's a pink straw as well. So now it's time to go ahead and take a look at the food items a part of the set. There's a total of six pieces. And there are two items of each option. So the first two items I'll be showing you are corn on the cobs, and there's a total of two of those. They look identical. I'll be adding one of the food items on the grill itself and the other one over to the side so we can see the difference as to what it looks like before you add it to the grill and after. And the next set of food items that I have here are some tamales. There's a total of two, and you can see that they're connected together. So I've added one onto the grill and the other one over to the side. And the last two items that we have here are kebabs, and there's different food items within the kebab to make it look as realistic as possible. So I'm going to place one over to the side, and then I'm going to be adding the other one onto the grill. And I just might move the kebab over to the side just so I can close the lid. I have already added the batteries to the set, so we're going to try it out to see if it works. So now it's time to try out the feature. All I need to do is close the lid, and you can see the light starts to switch on as you close the lid. So you don't need to do anything, and I'm going to leave it for around 20 seconds to see how much it changes. It has been roughly around 20 seconds, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the grill lid up so we can see if it works. And you can definitely see that it has changed quite a bit with each of the set, and it makes it look like it has been in a grill. I do have the tongs here. There are a pair that are included in the set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick each item up with the tongs. I'm going to move them out of the way so we can compare the different options. Let's take a look at the first two food items. So we have the corn. This is the one that was added to the grill and the one over on the other side was the one I left out on the plate. And you can see there is quite a difference between the two. You can see the grill marks are on the top of this one while this one doesn't have any. And if this food is styled the same as the one that's a part of the kitchen set, after a while it should start to fade so you can repeat the process over and over again. So here we have the next two food options. The first one was the one added to the plate, and then this one was the one from the grill. And you can see that there are some slight differences, but it's not major compared to the corn. That one was definitely very obvious. This one was a lot harder to tell, so I would say this one didn't work as well as the original one. And the last two food options we have here are the tamales. There's a total of two. This one was the one I added to the grill, and this one was the one I left out on the plate. You can still see the lines on the one that I added to the plate, but the one I added to the grill is definitely a lot more defined and clearer, and you can see that it looks like it has been cooked. So I would say the one that worked the best was definitely the corn, and then I would say the kebab was the one that worked the least, and then this one is somewhere in between. Overall, I would definitely recommend the set. I love how interactive it is, and the items are really, really as well. This item also ties in perfectly with Joss's Volkswagen Surf Bus set. You can just have it over to the side, set up with all of the different features. Let's go ahead and open up another accessory set. This item was also gifted to me by American Girl. This is a set that I'm really interested to take a look at. It is the Color Change Highlight Styling Set. And what I find really cool about this is that the highlights actually change color with the brush. I'm not sure if you're meant to add water to it, we'll have to find out, but it comes with some really awesome pieces. And I love how it's not just a highlight set, you can actually change the color. So I can't wait to see how it turns out, so let's go ahead and open it up. Boop. 
Before we take a look at the color changing extensions, let's take a look at some of the smaller accessories that are part of the set. So first off, we have three clips you're able to style your doll's hair. I love the teal theme to the set, it's really pretty, and we also have a small coat. The set also comes with a flat iron. It's a really pretty pink purple color. It says American Girl on the front, and there's also a pair of scissors too. These two pieces are really important for the color changing part for the hair extensions. So we have the dye brush, so this is what it looks like, and we also have the dye bowl too. And the next item we have here is this light blue apron. There are multiple different pockets at the front, so you're able to display the different hairstyling accessories that are a part of the set. There are a total of three color changing extensions that are part of the set and they're a really pretty purple color. So let's take a look at these two. This is what the outside looks like. And then here's the clip on the inside in case if you're wondering, it's pretty easy to use. You just pop it open like that, place in your doll's hair and then close it again. When you hear that snap, that means it's going to stay in your doll's hair. Let me go ahead and take one of these out to try out the color changing. I have all of the items here. This is the bowl that's a part of the set. We also have the hair extension and I also have the brush too. So how this works is I have warm water in the bowl. I'm going to be placing the hair extension into the water and then it should change color. And if you want it to change back, you have icy water in the bowl and then you place the hair extension into the icy water and it should change back to this color. So let's go ahead and try it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the hair extension into the bowl that's so cool, it changes color. You can see it changed to a pink color. That looks really awesome as well. You could totally add it to your doll's hair with just the pink at the bottom and then it's purple at the top. And then let me try it out with the brush as well. So we'll place the warm water and then we'll brush the hair extension. You can see it is a lot stronger if you place it straight into the warm water, but it's still really cool to try it out with the brush. So let me go ahead and add some icy water to the bowl so we can change it back. I have added icy water to the bowl. You can see there's small little ice cubes there, so it should be cold enough to change the color back. Let's go ahead and try the brush out first. I'll go ahead and brush this top part and it automatically changes the color back. That is so cool. I'm so happy with the set. And then we will dip this part of the hair back into the icy water and you can see that it automatically changes the color back. Overall, I would definitely recommend this set. It comes with a variety of different hairstyling accessories and it's really great how the hair extensions color change. This set is called the American Girl Kitchen Set and it is a part of the Truly Me line. It has multiple different interactive features and it comes with quite a few different food and accessory sets as well. I have just removed the packaging from the set and the kitchen is separated into two different pieces. You have the island on one side and that has the sink and storage area and then you have the main kitchen itself. You have the stove, the oven, and the refrigerator. So I'm going to be showing all of the different accessories while setting it up. So let's start off right at the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this section over here. The handle is gold and the set itself is a lovely light purple color. I love the pastel theme. And then there's a small section to store some smaller items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the flour and sugar. The first item is the flour. It has a gold lid on the top and it says flour written on the front. But what's interesting about the set is that the powder actually moves around to make it a little bit more realistic. And then the next item here is the sugar. It's in a blue container instead of a pink and it's exactly the same. You can see the pattern move around and I'll just add it right next to it. So here we have the fridge open. We've got the door on one side and then we have the shelving units on the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the attachment to the door so I can add in some condiments and some smaller items. So that's really easy to attach like so. The first item is the milk. It's 2% milk and there's a handle on the side so it can be easily held onto. I'll add that over there. And then the other item is some maple syrup. You can see it's clear. And over on the front, it has the maple syrup logo, and there is a pink lid as well to match the milk. So I'll add that right next to the set. There are also some ice cubes a part of the set because there's an ice dispenser feature. There's a total of two. They look so realistic, but I'm just going to add both of those in. And I'll be showing you how the ice dispenser feature works later on in the video. But let's keep setting up the rest of the fridge first. And I'll just be adding some classic items that you do normally see in a fridge over on the top shelf. The first item we have are some eggs and they're free range eggs. There's a total of six in the set and it says organic eggs. The container does open. You can see that they're all inside, but they're not removable. And I'll add that over on this side of the fridge. And the next item that we have here is cheese. And it's in a block that can go right at the back. 
And then the last item is some butter and it looks like there are some slices on the side and then the rest is all stuck together and it comes on a pink tray and then there's also a cover as well. And that can go right in the front. So let's add the second compartment to the fridge door and it's the exact same as the one on the top except it's located slightly lower. And the item that I'm going to be adding towards the front of the fridge is some ranch dressing. It's very lightweight and it has a green lid on the top. And here we have some items for the middle section of the fridge. The first item is a box of bacon. It says fully cooked and it's made out of a paper material. It is very lightweight and over on the back there's a barcode, there's a photo and it says naturally smoked and gluten free and I'll just be adding that over towards the back so we can add some items in the front. And the next item I'll be adding in is a pitcher of lemonade and there's a handle so it can easily be held onto. And this will be the perfect item to go along with the ranch dressing so I'll just open that compartment and I will add it in and there's plenty of room to add more items too. So here we have the freezer. It's really easy to open and close. There's a gold handle on the top to match the fridge and it completely removes from the fridge itself. So here we have a pizza box. It's wood fire pizza and it's Mediterranean. We have an overview of what the pizza looks like. This is what the back looks like. The box is really realistic and there's a barcode in the corner. And then there's an ice pop maker as well. There's a stand and it's easy to remove and attach. And then there's a small little piece on top of the ice pop so it sticks in place and you can remove it from the actual container itself. There's a total of four different flavors to choose from. So there's a yellow one, a pink one. There's also an orange one. And then finally, a green one right in the corner there. And I'll just add those to the freezer and they should be able to stay in place and you should be able to close it as well. I'll close the freezer and we have that finished. There is a small little shelving rack at the top here to display seasoning items like salt and pepper. So that's what I'm going to do. The first item we have here is pepper and it's mainly silver. The next item is salt and it's very similar to how the sugar and flour is styled. You can see that the powder does move around and it's clear so you can see what's inside. And we also have two more seasoning items. The first one is paprika and that's in a red jar. So of course that's the color of paprika and then we also have some cinnamon as well. Those two are essentials to have in your pantry. I just need to add the second one like so. And I really love how there's multiple different hooks at the top here so it's easy to display some cooking items and they're easy to grab while cooking. So first off there's measuring cups and they're so pretty, there's so many different shades of blue. So it's darker at the bottom and it goes to a light blue. And what's interesting about these items is that the measurement is written on each handle so you know which one is which. Just to make them as realistic as possible, so this is the one cup, you've got the half cup, the third cup, and then the quarter cup as well. So that can go along there. But that is quite hard to hang, so I'm going to hang it like that because all of them kind of stick together. Up next, there are the measuring spoons. There's a total of three. It's very similar to the blue ones, except they're pink, and you can see they're all different sizes. And what I'm going to do is I'll attach it right next to it. There's also a cheese grater, and there's a total of four different sides to choose from. Very realistic from the real cheese grater. That can go right at the end. And the next item that I'll be attaching is a whisk. It's a lovely peach color and there's a small section on the top so it can be attached to the hook. And the last item is a spoon which is essential for cooking. The pattern on the back of the kitchen is really pretty. There's purple and pink but there's also gray and green as well so it matches a lot of the accessories a part of the set and it also matches the pastel purple that's used throughout the main kitchen itself. The stove is so interactive in the set because each one makes a different sound depending on what item you add. So the one at the front makes a sizzling sound for eggs, the one in the back makes a sizzling sound for bacon as well. This one makes a kettle noise and then this one is for boiling water. So I'll show you all of the different sounds. First off we have the fry pan. It's really pretty light pink color and it has a gold handle. It's surprisingly quite heavy but I think it's so that when you add it to the stove it automatically makes the noise because if it's too light and you add it, it won't make the noise. So let's add the egg in. The egg is just made out of a plastic material and it just looks like a classic fried egg. I'll add that in and then here we have the spatula. It matches the pink fry pan which I love and I'll just place that so that is on top and I'll add that to the front. And you can hear that that is a sizzling noise. I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to switch it and I'll add the bacon and the bacon is made out of plastic material again and I'll add that to the fry pan and we'll put that to the back. And you can hear that they both sizzle and they sound similar but they do sound slightly different. So you can hear one is meant to be for bacon and then the other one is meant to be for eggs. So the other two are interesting. This one in the front is for the kettle. And it's so cool because it actually sounds like a kettle which is so great. 
and then there's a handle on the top and it's a mint green color and then the last item is for boiling water so I have the pot. So it's so great how there's a total of four different sounds and I really love how they're all different and you can style it however you'd like. And right below the stove there's a total of four different switches and they all rotate but they don't activate any features. But the button in the middle does activate the color changing feature on the oven so let's take a look at that. So the oven is a gorgeous teal color and then there's a handle on the top so it's easy to open and close. It is surprisingly very easy to open and close. And then there's a small little rack at the top which is removable and you can adjust it to the second row as well if you want so you don't have to have it right at the top. I'll leave it over in the second row just to give it more room and then we also have this bottom section as well. So there's a total of two interactive pieces that are for the oven. The first one is the pizza. And I showed the pizza box previously and it came separate from the box. You didn't have to take it out or anything. And then there's also a tray so it's easy to carry and there's handles on either side. And then we also have the pie as well. And that comes in a container itself. It matches a lot of the other items in the set. There's a half piece and then there's two quarter pieces and they are removable. And you can see that they're a very bright yellow color. And you can see the topping looks really delicious as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this one to the top and this pizza item to the bottom. I'm going to close this and I'm going to press this button on. And you can see that there's a timer and it becomes a light blue color if you can see that. And what it does is it looks like it cooks it and then when the timer goes off, you can take it out of the oven and it looks like it has been cooked. So that didn't take very long at all, so I'm going to remove the pie from the oven and you can see it looks like it has been cooked. It completely changes, that's so awesome. And here we have a photo showing a comparison of what half the pie looks like before you add it to the oven and after. And as you can see, there is a major difference. That's so interesting, it actually changes the whole theme of it. I'm not sure if this one changed. I think it did, I think you can see it looks like it has been cooked. It's quite hard to tell, but it does look like it has changed. So here we have the pizza cutter. It does spin and it's a lovely addition to the set because it matches the pizza and a lot of the other items in the set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this small storage compartment unit and I'll add that and I'll close it like so. So remember when I put the ice cubes in the fridge earlier in the video? Let me show you how that works. So there's a small little dispenser at the front. There's a section to add your cup. There's a total of two cups in the set and they look identical but I'm just going to be using one for now. And there are two buttons at the top. One is for water and one is for ice and they make the sounds as well. So this one here. is for water if you can hear that and the other one is for ice cubes. So what you can do is you can add your cup in and then the ice cube should fall in place and then while you're doing that you can also press this to make it sound like the ice cube's falling. And then your cup is completely full and then you can repeat the whole process by opening it back up, adding the ice cubes, and then adding your cup again. The second item we have here is the island and it's the other main feature of the kitchen set. I love how this is marble on the top. It makes it look so much like a kitchen. But it is made out of plastic material so it is completely safe. There's a sink in the middle and then there is a tap. And I just attached this, there's a small little attachment so it's easy to add. And you can move this from side to side and remove it as well so it's easy for washing. I'll add a few smaller accessories to the top here. First off, there is a bowl and this is a classic decoration bowl. And we also have some lemons. They're all clumped together so you can't remove them. But they do look very realistic. And the next item that I have here is the mixer. It's a lovely teal color and what's interesting about it is that there's a total of two different options to add so it depends on what you're baking. There's a small clip on the top. You can attach it like so and then there's a mixing bowl as well. I've already added in batteries so it does work and you can just press the button and it makes the noise as if you're mixing it. I'll remove that and I'll add the other one in and it should make the same noise and make the exact same action as well. So I'll add that in and then I'll press the button. And that can just sit over on the side here. 
Over in the front, I'll add the market list and there are multiple different sheets so you can write on it, you can write your grocery list and there's a checkbox to see if you've collected those items and I love the floral design on the top and the bottom. I'll add that just sitting over here and then on the other side, I have a plate. There's a total of two in the set but I'll just add one there with a pancake and there's a small butter piece on the top. There are two drawers, one on either side so you're able to place cutlery and maybe even like the pizza cutter that I added over in the storage section on the other side. So there are a total of two knives and two forks and I'll add those over in this section and then on the other side I'll add the two spoons and they're right over here and over in this bottom compartment there's a huge section to display multiple different pieces and I love how there's shelving units there so there's a total of two and then there's a section to block this in the middle so on one side I'll add the pancake mix and we have nutritional information it's surprisingly quite a heavy set. Feels like the item is inside, but it's obviously not. We already have the pancakes over there. And the next item I'll add is the pot because that's currently not on the stove right now. This section is also a really great place to display some cups. So I'll add both of those in. And then the last item over on the other side is the plate. That's the spare one I didn't use on the table. There is a small little hook in the corner here so you're able to attach the hot pad and this is really great especially if you're using the oven so you don't get burnt. There's a floral design and that matches the cushions that's a part of the tea time table and chair set and there's a lovely pink design over on the side. There's a small little attachment so it can be attached and we can just place it like so. And here we have the back of the island. It continues on with that light purple theme and there's a storage section in the back so that's really great to store away some of the larger items like the mixer. I love the detail that they've added over on the side of the island. It's so pretty and in case if you're wondering that's actually made out of plastic and the rest of the structure of the set is not. But I will add a few items here. First off we have the cloth. It's pink and there's some detail on the front. And the other item I'll be adding here is a small calendar and you can write month of and then you can write the month and you can just write a small little checklist and over in the back there is a sticker compartment so you can attach it to the freezer but I won't be adding that for now, I'll just place that over there. There are a total of three hooks so you can display different aprons on the main kitchen set. This set does come with an apron, it's so pretty, it has that same floral design to match the table and chair set. There's Velcro on the top and also Velcro on the back as well. And American Girl is also selling an apron set separate if you'd like to purchase that as well and you can add that to the kitchen too. And the final addition to the set is the rug. It's such a pretty pink and purple color and there's a lovely floral design on the front. Overall, I would definitely recommend the set. It is so interactive and it comes with so many different features. I love the oven and how it changes the color of the food to make it look like it has been cooked to make it as realistic as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.